Dungeons and Dragons is a game about both the dungeons and the dragons, but at its heart, it's a game about imagination. Being able to remove yourself from reality and at the same time submerge yourself into a mystical world of magical spells and mythical creatures is something special to many. Personally, I use it in a fleeting attempt to hide from my crippling student debt. And cause it's fun. The interesting thing about that, however, is that historically, I'm a power gamer. I am one of those degenerates that sits down and crunches numbers to figure out the most efficient or effective way to do something. This probably comes from an ongoing abusive relationship with World of Warcraft. The game, not the developers. It's really sad that I have to clarify that. But anyways, point is, I don't do that with Dungeons and Dragons. Well, why? Why don't I do that? So I sat on that thought for about a day and I realized that Dungeons and Dragons isn't really a game. Well, okay, technically, yes, it is a game, but in practice, D&D is actually closer to a story than it is a game. The entire premise of it is that you learn as you go and everything you do affects the outcome of the story. In Warcraft, you kill a shopkeep, it just respawns. But in D&D, you kill a shopkeep, that shopkeep stays dead. And there is no most effective way to read a story. Or is there? Well, I could read a story, or hell, even write a story if I wanted to, but what are stories? Just words on paper, right? Technically, true, but behind every single word in a story, behind every sentence, is a movie playing inside the reader's head. And that movie is your imagination. So why do I bring this up? Because imagination is your most powerful weapon. What do I mean by that? Well, let's exemplify it by applying the logic to a spell. Take the spell and large reduce. At face value, this spell either enlarges or reduces a target in size. Simplistic enough, but if you actually read the spell, it doesn't really have a lot of specifics, and that right there is what I mean. The spell only states details in terms of stats, but really has no other information in it. Now you could stick to the bare bones what the spell says it does, or you could use your imagination and pull a lot more from this spell. You know, I know this looks like a workout drink, but it's literally fruit punch. Sure, you could enlarge your party member, give them some extra damage, and that's great, but think bigger than that. And <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Maybe enlarge a rock to block a corridor, enlarge a boat to fit more people in it, or even reduce the size of a locked door for easy access. The choice is up to you. Each of these are different possible uses for that spell that have no mention in the actual spell description. And this is exactly what I mean when I say imagination is your greatest weapon. Some other similar spells are things like Unseen Servant, Wrist Pocket, Secret Chest, or Mage Hand. But not everybody is a spellcaster. So let's look at this from another angle. A simple crowbar. A piece of starting equipment that you get in your Dungeoneer's pack. Bonus points if you know what's in a Dungeoneer's pack. I definitely had to look it up. Chances are your character probably has one, but you have never thought about it before. You could use it to break glass and enter an otherwise locked establishment, slide it between door handles to effectively lock a keep door, or maybe, just maybe, you could use it to pry something open. I mean, we all know doors are generally the most difficult enemy in all of D&D. Look, the point is that D&D isn't just about rolling a lot of clickety-clack math rocks. Finding imaginative solutions or uses for your skills and abilities are what make the game fun. Being able to turn to the DM and say, I summon an unseen servant to give that nerd a wedgie, is quite literally the best part of D&D. Okay, that might not be the best example of power, but turning to your DM and saying, I enlarge the door so it blocks the entryway. Seeing the look on their face when they can't figure out a way to tell you it won't work is one of the most amazing and satisfying feelings in the world. The ability to surprise your DM is stronger than any weapon you can possibly get in the actual game. And even though D&D isn't technically a players versus the DM kind of game, it's likely the DM subconsciously know what you could do in any given situation. That's why surprising them is so strong, because they can't use their subconsciously created predetermined knowledge to respond to your shenanigans. And once you do that, you've effectively turned a game of checkers into a game of chess, and your bishop is moving right in line for a possible checkmate. But anyways, this video was not meant to convince you of a right way to play D&D. There is no right way to play a game or to read a story. My goal was to try and get you to think outside of the box, to use the tools available to you, and for the love of God, use your imagination. Just because a spell says one thing doesn't mean it specifically can't do another thing. 
If something is open-ended and you don't know the possible outcome, why not try it? And I can guarantee you once you do that, you will win Dungeons & Dragons. Well, winning is a relative term for having fun because let's be real, the DM has ultimate power. But anyways, that's all I have for this video. If you have any funny stories about the times you caught your DM off guard, let me know in the comment section below. I love reading stories and I almost always respond, and I was thinking about making a funny stories kind of type video. But anyways, that is a tale for another day. Thank you all very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all on Friday.